In this lecture, I am going to explain about the journal entries and the process of liquidating a partnership firm. So what is the meaning of liquidation of a partnership? Sometime, a partnership decides to completely close the business. In this case, we must liquidate the business and distribute the remaining assets to the partners. To do this, we must completely remove everything on the balance sheet. So what are the different process of a liquidation of a, of a business? So steps for the liquidation include the sales of assets other than cash. It means the non-cash assets, maybe the building, plant, machinery or equipment. And divide the gain or loss arise out of the sale of the assets based on the partnership ratio as per the partnership agreement. And the money which is realized from the sale of the assets will be used to pay off all the liabilities and debts of the company. And the rest money will be distributed among the capital based upon the partner's capital balance. So now I'm just going to explain everything with one example and we'll prepare the schedule of cash payment to determine the amount of cash each partner will receive. In this example, the RJ, RJ partnership firm decide to discontinue operations and liquidate the business on 1st of May 2023. All non-cash assets were sold for $95,000 and the profit sharing ratio is 6 to 4 among the two partners. The company's balance sheet shows that cash of $60,000, account receivable $85,000, machinery of $25,000 on the asset side. And on the liability side, account payable is $50,000, notes payable $20,000. Under the equity, there are two partners. Rex Capital is $45,000 and John Capital is $55,000. So with the help of this example, I'm just going to follow all the process step by step. So look at this. So this is the performa in Microsoft Excel that I have prepared to make everything very simple. Right, I have written here the assets, liabilities, and the equity. As we know that the what is the uh, accounting equation? The formula for the accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus uh, equity. So in this way that I have prepared in such a way. So this is the word that even you can prepare exactly the similar kind of performer. So this performer that will be really helpful for you for making all the transactions in a systematic way. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I will write the cash, account receivable, machinery, and all other liabilities and equity balance from the previous example. So balance as per the balance sheet. So now I'm just going to write the assets. On the asset side, we can see $60,000 as the cash. So $60,000, 85 and 25. So first is, 60,000 then we have here 85,000 then 25,000 right and on the liability side accounts payable is 50,000 and 20,000 is not payable for the tax capital 45,000 and for John capital it is $50,000 so now sale of all non-cash assets so what i'm going to do i'm just going to write the sale of all non-cash assets figure here so how much is the sale it's 95000 so i'm just going to write here 95000 right so i'm just going to add these two figures in this way so our total cash realizes 155000 dollars so what i'm going to do i'm just uh, going to make a copy of all these this formula in a shortcut way so look at this there is the plus sign so white color now if i just uh, put this uh, pointer mouse pointer the plus sign at the corner of this uh, cell it will convert to black and drag towards the right right so in this way that we will be able to see the total is already completed and done automatically so now $95,000 is realized. The second step is that divide gain or loss as per the ratios. Okay, we know the ratio is 
Rex is having a 60% of share and John is having a 40% of share. So here we want to realize that how much how much cash that we have received. So we have received cash for what purpose? So look at this. All known cash assets were sold. So what is the meaning of this? It means that we have sold this machinery and we have received the money from the account receivable as well. So it means that I am just going to make it zero first. Right. So 85,000 here minus 25,000. Right. So no doubt uh, it means the $85,000 that we received from the our customers and the machinery the costing $25,000 were sold but here that we need to put a zero it means that we have sold this machinery on loss so loss of how much is the loss the so loss will be that $15,000 around so let's see how we have calculated so here 95,000 uh, that we cash we have received then the total of these two right so this will be 110 so if we write here 110 right then uh, here we write 95,000 is equal to this figure minus 95,000 so here is the $15,000 so here that we are going to write here what is the uh, loss or profit here the loss is minus $15,000 so this is what we have done the second is divide the gain or loss as per the ratio so as that I have entered $15,000 and $15,000 for the Rex the 60% will be $9,000 and for the John is a $6,000 so in this case what I'm going to do I'm just going to write these two figures here under this so these loss will be suffered by Rex and John respectively and here I am just going to write minus $9,000 and minus here $6,000 right so in this case what I am going to write here $15,000 to make it zero because this loss is the distributed so now the total will be zero here if I make a total of this that will be zero and the same way that what I am going to do I am just going to make this formula available for all the cells okay so nine thousand and six thousand dollar the both figures that we have written here it means the profit and loss and loss is also distributed among these two partners now next step is pay all liabilities or debts means outside the liabilities how much is the outside the liability we have so we have two liabilities the first one is fifty thousand dollar adds accounts payable and the note payable is twenty thousand dollar how much cash we have here so we have one hundred fifty five thousand so first of all that we are going to pay this cash to the account payable so once with that we pay fifty thousand dollar then the remaining balance will be zero and here twenty thousand dollars that we also we have to pay to clear the note payable so in this case we have paid seventy thousand dollars so here i'm just going to write the seventy thousand dollars it means cash has reduced by seventy thousand dollars so what i'm going to do i'm just going to make a total of these two so here the remaining balance will be eighty five thousand dollars in the same way that i'm going to drag it here and you will see the balances that is showing here so what is the purpose uh, of making all this the purpose is that we want a zero at the end everywhere right so here the eighty five thousand dollar is here now the distribution of cash as per the capital balance so how much is the capital balance Rex is having thirty six thousand dollar and the John is having forty nine thousand dollar now in this case what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, make $85,000 minus so that the balance should be zero so here if I make a total of this the zero it means the assets side everywhere there will be a zero so 85,000 here minus and here also I'm just going to distribute $36,000 to Rex and $49,000 and if I make a total of all these 
then you will realize that there will be a zero everywhere so what we have done so we have distributed all the assets to the parties to pay off the liabilities and all as well as to the both partners rex and john so now how we can create a general entry of all these transactions so first of all to make a general entry we see that how much uh, cash we realized we realized in $95,000 so cash that has come in the business so what I'm going to write here here I'm going to write here cash so transaction number one cash account debit so the amount how much money that we have received 95,000 right and two So there were account receivable, right? So account receivable, we have received money. So we will write here account receivable. So that will come on the credit side, 85,000. And we have uh, sold machinery. So there is no machinery in the business now. And we will write $25,000 here. And here, as we know that, uh, that we suffer loss in this firm, the $15,000, the loss was there. So loss on sale of assets. So that will be $15,000 here. So we know that as per the golden rule of accounting, the nominal account Right, under the nominal account because all the expenses and losses income and gain comes into the nominal account so we have debited so debit all all expenses and losses in the business so we have deb debited so in this case the first transaction is completed now the second transaction is here so what we have done in the second transaction so we have divided the loss so in this case the loss is divided among the partners it means the nine thousand dollars and the six thousand dollar loss that was divided so what will be the general entry for this so for this one so first of all that we need to write it here if there is a loss it means the capital we have reduced for the rex as well as the john so if the capital is reduced definitely we will debit those capital with their names so now the first name is rex capital account here we will write rex capital account and the second one is John capital account right so the Rex capital account how much is the amount of nine thousand dollars so here we will write here nine thousand and six thousand for Mr. John total will be the fifteen thousand dollars so what we will write here at the fifteen thousand dollars so we will write the loss of sale of assets it was 15,000 here that we are going to write here to loss on realization of assets or loss on sale of assets so this is the second transaction that we have completed the third one here that we are going to start with the payment of all liabilities and debts so $70,000 it means the cash has reduced and on the other side, the liabilities is also reduced. So in this case, account payable account debit, not payable account debit to cash. So here, accounts payable, account debit, then not payable, account debit to cash. So the cash has a reduced by 70,000 as you can see here the 70,000 cash balance has reduced right and 50,000 and 20,000 liability also has reduced if the liability is decreasing definitely we will debit it so here the $50,000 and a $20,000 for the note payable that we have done the last transaction here is the fourth transaction says that the distribution of the cash as per capital balance so now so how much money that we have 85,000 so 85,000 is distributed among two cap two partners 
Rex Capital and John Capital. So now 85,000 has gone from the business. Definitely we will put on the credit side. So to cash, so cash has gone 85,000. Right? So the who has received this money? So both partner. The first one is the Rex. So Rex Capital. And another one is John. Okay, so what is the amount here? So $36,000 Rex has received as per the closing capital balance and $49,000 is received by Mr. John. Right, so we have prepared all the general entries related to the partnership liquidations and we have prepared the step by step how much that uh, cash we left and how we have distributed this cash among the all the partners in the partnership.